Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Spooky Sunday video. If you're new here, welcome. Hope you like the video and I hope you will stick around and subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you. I love you. Thank you so much for returning. But in today's video, we are going to be reading some of your scary stories again. A lot of them are S Walker stories as always. And here is the email. If you want to send me any of your scary stories to read in videos, then this is the email that you will email it to. But without further ado, let's get on into today's video and I hope you all like going on to my email we have a really long one and this is from someone named Kimberly and it says my paranormal encounters hi so my name's Kimberly and I love your channel thank you I love you thank you for watching this is my paranormal encounters so this happened about a week ago and I was all alone because my parents had to go shopping with my two brothers so I was all alone in the house and all the doors were locked so no one could have gotten in anyway I was watching a movie, I think it was Aquaman, and I was watching on my tablet when I hear a knocking. So I go and see from the peephole who's there, and no one is there. So I shrug it off as a prank and I sit back down. Mind you, I had headphones on and it was about 30 minutes later when I hear someone moving stuff in my brother's room. So naturally, I assume they've come home. So I called out to see if he was there, and something answered back in his voice. Yes. I'm here. So I went to catch him, but when I looked inside, no one was there. I checked everywhere. The closet, under the bed, no one. So now I was getting scared. So I called my mom asking her if they were on their way, and she said yes. And when I turned to the kitchen, I saw the cabinets opening and closing. I'm getting goosebumps and I'm scared. By then, I had enough, and I ran outside and waited for my parents and brothers. That's literally what I would do. I would do the exact same. Then after that encounter, it was two nights after. I was asleep with my door closed when I heard scratching on my door. I obviously thought it was the cats since I had two, but then I realised my cats were on the bed with me, looking intentionally at the door. And then, after that, I told my parents, but they didn't believe me until we saw the scratches. Then last night, I was in the restroom doing my business, and I had just finished when I heard the same scratching on the bathroom door. Again, like a dummy, I thought it was the cats. So I sighed and told them to stop. As I was washing my hands, the lights in the restroom turned off. I was already scared by then, and I turned to leave, but the door wouldn't budge. I started screaming, calling my parents and brothers, but no one came. And then all of a sudden, I hear a voice say, I'm not your cats. And I panic and scream louder, praying to God I don't die. Then as quick as that happened, it was over. I ran out crying to my parents, who were confused. They told me they heard no one screaming, and that my brother said I was in my room with the door closed. I asked them, what do you mean I was in the restroom and they said no you were in your room we were talking to you for a while i don't know who was in my room but it wasn't me again love you and your vids i love you as well and thank you for liking my channel and watching and supporting i love you but there's some stuff i want to say so first things first i would also have ran and waited outside for my parents to come i would not want to be in the house second thing i want to say is when i'm scared i also sleep with my cats on my bed i don't have them here because they're back at home home not in this home so i do miss that comfort but when i was home and i was scared i would always sleep with the cats on my bed but i would sleep with one in my room and then the other one doesn't really like to be in my room anyway so she usually slept downstairs so then if i heard any scary noises i would always be like oh it's just the cat that's downstairs. Even if it wasn't, it may not have been, but knowing that there was a possibility that it could have been made me feel at ease. So maybe try sleeping with one in your room and one outside. It might put your mind at ease a little bit. But that end bit of the story, it mind blowing insane wow i've never heard of anything like that before because people could say maybe it was an s walker but it has it had different traits of like paranormal demon type vibes with the moving of stuff the paranormal activity pretty much and then the person being on the bed and only talking to their parents and not trying to attack them insane i don't know if anybody's heard of this before so if you've ever heard of anything like this happening before and you know the name of maybe the creature that it was or you can give any information then please comment down below because i would love to learn more about it but thank you so much for your story i really enjoyed reading that and again i love you thank you for your support on my channel let's go on to the next story and this says spooky sunday hey my name is kelsey i'm 
I'm not sure if you have been showed this one before or have already seen it before, but this is one of my absolute favorite scary videos on the internet. It's an analog horror and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. I love your videos. Right, because this isn't a story time, I'm gonna save this one for a different video where I react to scary videos. So thank you, Kelsey. I appreciate it and I love you and I will watch this. But I'm gonna save it for a video where I react to videos. And I'm gonna move on to the next story time. Okay, so this one is from Magu and it says, my friend told me a while back he was driving down the back roads very late at night and there was this truck in front of him. And in the back of the truck, he said it had this creature. It didn't look quite like an animal, but he thought it was. Mind you, he was quite a distance. When the truck went down the hill, he was unable to see. So once he got on top of the hill, he noticed that this thing was white and it was laying on the ground. The truck was already too far ahead. As he drove closer to the animal, he said this thing took up like the whole length of the road laying sideways, all tied up. Said when he drove up, all he seen was this white 11 foot tall skinny being. He said it turned and it faced him. The being had no mouth, but these dark huge eyes and slits for a nose, long fingers and toes and looked like roots. He said he was so scared he didn't even bother to stop. He just kept driving. Mm creepy. That sounds like the pictures of S walkers that we see. That sounds exactly like that. Please tell me you agree with me because I think when I see the pictures of S walkers and then they described what they saw, it sounds exactly how it looks. This is why I hate driving at night. You already know I hate driving at night because I complain about it so much whenever we have story times, but I hate driving at night. In case I see anything creepy like this, especially on a back road or past forests. There's like this big hill near where I used to live and you can drive through it and it's just forests and I avoid it in the day, let alone in the nighttime, but the thought of driving it in the nighttime just makes me feel sick. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling, so let's move on to the next story. This is from Zeus and it's a really long story, so this might be the last one that I read in this video, but it says, you feel so different watching these videos when stuff has actually happened to you. Thank God I haven't seen anything of the sort, but I've heard them before. Hmm. The first experience was about a year ago or longer. It was about 4am at the time. I was sitting in my own home when I started to feel uneasy. It wasn't as bad as it got later, but I just felt odd and safe. And to feel that in your own house, it's not fun. So feeling paranoid then, I locked the door. Shortly after, the feeling started to turn into pure dread. It was a horrible feeling and not just that, a presence. At that point, I had no knowledge of these creatures, but I knew something was definitely out there. I could feel it in my chest, even as I type this. It is as if that heart feeling comes back to me, pressure on my chest, and as I am unable to breathe, it feels different. That's how it was. Then I heard a meow and it was as if it was right outside. It didn't stop, it just kept going. Being the only one up, I decided to hop on Discord and just tell my friends about the situation. I had a spiritual friend at the time who wanted me to look outside at the cat, but the feeling completely took over me. I was too scared to even look out the window, but eventually they told me not to go outside. Even if I wanted to, I wouldn't have. It was starting to get annoying. So I jokingly said something like, you can stop now, I'm not gonna go outside. It actually stopped meowing for an estimated 20 seconds. I was relieved in that moment until it started again. I decided to turn the TV on to calm down. The feeling was so bad, I was even scared to let my feet touch the ground. It sounds stupid, but it is an example of just how terrifying it was. Then, all of a sudden, the cat screamed. It still sounded like a meow, but I knew the noise could not have come from a cat. It was human-like. Eventually, it sounded as if another cat came along. It was as if two fought. Then, it went completely silent. It was like something big had been lifted off my shoulders. The feeling of dread was gone. The sun was starting to come out. This experience made me pretty paranoid about certain things. I never really went outside until the sun was completely out. The second experience might have been a couple of months later, but not long after. It was something about the moon something special about it. I heard about on social media apps, though I can't remember. I wanted to go outside and have a look until I heard the same meow. It sounded like it was down the road, loud, but a bit far. I immediately ran back inside. It sounds pathetic, but as I said, I was paranoid as hell after the first time. I don't know if the moon had anything to do with it, but in that moment, I assumed it did the latest one. I think it might have been a few weeks ago. It's always very hard for me to tell when exactly something took place, but I was laying in bed trying to go back to sleep. It was morning, but still a bit dark. I heard a meow. Yes, again. But this time, it wasn't long before it changed into a bark instead. After that, it turned into a noise that didn't sound like it could belong to any animal at all. A human-like creature-like noise. Spaces between each noise being made. It sounded like it was getting further and further away until I could feel the noise in the same pattern, but I could barely hear it with my own ears. Even after the first two experiences, probably because it wasn't recent back then, I still carelessly went on late night walks 
just down my neighborhood. I don't think I'll be doing that again. And now anytime I hear an animal, unless I know for sure it is one of my cats, I wonder if it's actually something else that wants to lure me in. Before I talk about the story, I just want to say how well that was written. That was like a dream to read, an absolute dream. So I just want to hype up your writing because it's very, very well done. It was so easy to read and it was so easy to imagine what you were writing about because it was so well written. So thank you so much. But I reckon it was definitely an S Walker. Just from like stories that we've read before, videos that we've reacted to, I feel like I'm gonna go away and try and learn a bit more about the history of S Walkers because I don't want to be ignorant to the culture where the legend comes from. So I think that's what I'm gonna go away and do so that I can be 100% sure when I do these videos. But I feel like from past experiences in videos that we've had, it could have been an S Walker, especially the last story where it turned into a completely different noise. Yeah. I'm just overwhelmed with how well it was written. It was really enjoyable to read. Thank you everybody. That was a really loud clap. Thank you everybody that sent me in a story to read. Like I said, here is the email if you want me to read any of your stories. And Kelsey, who sent me the video link, I promise you I will go and watch that and try and include it in one of my videos. But until next time, I will see you all soon. Please remember to give this video a big thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe. And until next time, I will see you soon. Peace.